Hi guys, welcome to the channel and thank you very much for joining me for my first video of 2022. I hope you all have a wonderful year ahead. Um, I'm really excited about this year. One of my big aims is to learn something new and to work on my YouTube channel. So in the spirit of that, I am going to show you this very quick video with my new passion haul. This year, I'm going to be learning how to use the Cricut. So do join me if you've treated yourself to a Cricut recently or you have one and haven't got it out of the box or you're literally starting your journey because I have never ever used one of these machines. So you can learn with me and you can perhaps give me some hints and tips if you are a seasoned Cricut user. So I've opted for the Cricut Maker it was on a really, really good price because they've just brought out the Cricut Maker 3, which is the next model up from this. Um, I haven't even taken this out of the box yet, so I have no clue what to expect, but I am so, so excited. I don't know if you can tell, but lots of my goods arrived today, so I wanted to do this video so I can then rip the boxes open and have a little play. So essentially, what we have here is obviously you need your machine. You can choose what machine you have. I'm not going to go into all the details on this because it's just a quick overview. Um, what I've also bought is the weeding tool. Now, there are lots of tool sets with lots of items in, but I've been watching lots of videos over the Christmas period and quite a few people say, don't fall into the trap of thinking you need to buy every single thing when you're starting off. So I've been quite sensible and I've just bought the weeding tool. I already have things that I can use to actually um, push the vinyl down onto the mats and things like that, because obviously, as you know, I'm a crafter, but I didn't have a proper Cricut weeding tool, so I did treat myself to that. Because one of the things I really want to work on is the fusible ink, which I will get to in a moment, I have also treated myself to the, the no, I haven't got my glasses on, I can't think if this is, oh it is, the 12 by 12 so the 12 by 12 heat press mat, okay, which I'm going to use initially in conjunction with the uh, Easy Press Mini. I have ordered the 9x9 Easy Press 2, <laughs> um, but that hasn't arrived yet, and that's going to be more for things like tote bags and possibly t-shirts, um, but I will show you the first thing I'm going to be working on, and I will only need the mini iron for that. So that's our iron. Again, for iron on and um, Easy Press, I've purchased some of the heat transfer tape. Uh, Millie's helping me today being my cameraman so if I boss her around <laughs> so if you want to come off of me now Mills and we'll just look at some of the products that'll be fantastic you will obviously need transfer tape so I've got several of this size I appreciate it's quite a small size so I am going to have to invest in some larger transfer tape but this is going to be fine to get me going obviously as well as your machine you need some vinyl to work with so I have this arrived today. Can you see the glitter on the screen? Yeah. Um, actually, a little piece has started to peel away, so you can probably see it even better there. But I've got some black iron-on glitter, a huge industrial amount, um, and the same size. I can't remember what the size were. I want to say 25 yards or meters. It's quite a lot, but in the silver as well. No, the white, beg your pardon. And they are so sparkly. I bought several different rolls in the sale. Uh, this is just a matte grey iron-on. I've purchased the Everyday Iron-on Mesh in the silver, which is quite a sporty look. So I'm really interested to see how this turns out. And then also iron-on, we've got the jewel set which I have to be honest, aren't really my colours because I'm not really into bright primary jewel colours. Um, but I think they're going to look really good on some of the substrates that I've got. I've also bought this one, which isn't iron on, but I love the texture of this gold. So this can go on to, um, we've got gold and silver, all different metallics, but it's got a really nice texture to it. So this isn't an iron on, this is just a peel and stick. And then get to the fusible inks. I also, because they were in the sale, purchased some of these instant sort of iron-on mandalas, which I thought would look really nice, either on a t-shirt or a tote bag. So I'm looking forward to trying those. So I've got a little bit of most things, but the ones that I was really, really keen to try 
um, is the infusible ink, which I have to be honest, I know they've been around a long time, but I'm not a Cricut person. Um, but these look really interesting. So these don't sit on top of your items, rather like a vinyl does. The ink fuses in with the fabric. So from what I can gather watching videos, it's a really nice, smooth fix and it actually becomes part of the garment. Um, again, these two colorways were in the sale. A lot of it had sold out, but I'm really excited to try these. So we've got our machine. I've got some vinyl, so I need something to put it onto. I've bought only three, three of the infusible ink t-shirts. Now the thing with the infusible ink is it does have to go onto items that have an element of polyester in them. This is what I believe, as I said, I've only been watching the videos for the past couple of months, but because these are from Cricut and they say they're to be used with the infusible ink, I think I've got a better chance of having a good result at the beginning before I start messing about with other products. I'm sure there's more reasonably priced products I can try it on, but these were in the sale anyway, so I was happy to go ahead and do that. And then the other two things I bought to try out, and again, they'll be fine for the iron-on, but they're particularly designed to work with the infusible ink, which is what I'm excited about, is a pack of little sort of cosmetic bags. I must admit, when I saw the price of this, I thought, oh, that's really steep for a cosmetic bag if you're looking to sell on. Um, and then I was really, really chuffed because obviously I didn't look properly. And when I opened them, it's actually a pack of three. So it was really good value. You get two of this size, which is a really decent size. It's not tiny, so you can use it for a pencil case, cosmetic bag, anything like that. And then the third one is actually even larger again. I can't give you all the dimensions because it's probably on the packet and I won't be able to see it without my glasses on. And the quality is really, really nice. They're like, um, I can't explain. It looks like a cotton drill. It's obviously not because it's got polyester in it, but it's a nice sturdy fabric. And then the final, final item that I'm gonna be using, um, towards the end of last year, I think it was because of you, Millie, I don't know, but I started really looking at tote bags and getting excited by tote bags. Mills, as you will know, if you've been following me, has started college last September, just gone. And so obviously a lot of the guys there are using tote bags. And so I started looking into that and got quite excited about being able to put our own designs on them. So I bought quite a few of the Cricut tote bags. Again, because although I can buy tote bags elsewhere, these are gonna work particularly well with the infusible ink. Okay, so because I'm brand new to this, I wanted to try and have the correct products to give me a better chance of getting a good result. So um, the first thing I'm gonna try, because they were the cheapest, cheaper than the tote bags and the t-shirts, is a couple of these pouches just to sort of test my feet and see how we get on. Millie's gonna help me with some suggested, suggested designs. And um, follow me on my journey, and I'm gonna be videoing it every step of the way. And you can see the failures, you can see the tears, you can see the laughter, you can see the, the winners and the losers. Um, but yeah, I'd really love it if you subscribe to the channel, as well as subscribing, if you hit that notification bell, that would be great, because then you won't miss anything. You'll get notified every time I upload. Um, it costs you absolutely nothing, but it's gonna really help me um, grow my channel, which is what I really want to do in 2022. I've been thinking about it and talking about it for the last two years, but I've decided this is my year to make my YouTube channel work. So guys, thank you for your time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've bought. I will do a proper unboxing video and I will show you how I get on and my first attempts at using Cricut. Thank you so much, guys. Make sure you hit subscribe and come and join me next time on my journey. Bye.